Hello, Hitless Gaming here. I want to make a video on Dscan and why it is important. Um, Dscan is a fantastic tool uh, that every single ship is equipped with, and it functions exactly the same regardless of the ship that you're on. It is a very powerful defensive tool as well as a very, very powerful offensive tool. And utilizing it correctly is what gives me a lot of confidence when dealing with suicide gankers and mission running and doing various things in space that you would otherwise refer to as dangerous. Uh, it gives you a competitive edge when somebody is hunting for you and it gives you a competitive edge when you're hunting for somebody. When you hit V for the very first time to open up your D-Scan, uh, you'll get this menu here uh, and it will show your solar system map as well as the D-Scan. I personally prefer to unhook these from each other so that D-Scan can be viewed without the map because you don't necessarily need the map up to know what's going on on D-Scan. So I like to have D-Scan separate from my map and then the hotkey for the map is F9. So they work in conjunction with each other very well. So the first slider here is range and what it does is it dictates how big of a range you are D-Scanning. Uh, so you would uh, turn it down and it makes the bubble smaller or it makes the bubble bigger and that is the range so you can say hey I want to know if there are any ships within five AUs of me you would set it to five you would set the overview properly you would hit V and it will show you uh, if there are any ships within five AU of you and also vice versa or also if you did like one AU that's how far it would show uh, also, uh, if you wanted to see where a ship was specifically, uh, you can reduce this angle. And uh, to increase and reduce these angles, when you click on this, you can roll your, your mouse wheel and it will change the sizes. Uh, when you click on, the, um, when you click on the, the little slider, you can then roll the mouse wheel instead of trying to grab this and moving it across. So if you lose your little ball or your little angle here, um, one thing that you, could, you should check is whether or not the cone is shown or not. You can check this little tab right here and show and unshow the cone. Uh, it's kind of helpful uh, for whatever reason you don't want that cone to be shown on your map. And the other little useful tool is that these uh, two angles are from different frames of view. So if you move your camera, it moves the uh, D-scan around. If you move this, it doesn't move the camera around. You can lock these together uh, by clicking on this little button right here and it will lock them together and then you get what looks like a two-dimensional view but if you move this around it will also move your camera around and they are both looking in the same direction together so when you hold v and scan on something you'll get that and then you can uh, do the reduction and it makes it a little bit easier to line up what you're looking at and figure out kind of uh, where things are now oh, this is actually something i just learned and then um, last you can open and close the solar system map from this without a hotkey by hitting this little button. And then the last button on top is the D-scan uh, profiles. And these are really useful. Uh, you can set up a specific overview thing uh, here, and then you select one of these profiles. So you can do D-scan ships defensive, and then it will only show ships. And I believe it's also gonna show stereosis for this one. So it'll show ships and structures, but it may not show pods. Uh, and then I actually prefer full uh, PVX basic plus MPC is what I tend to do because I like to be able to see uh, a lot of things. I don't like seeing all the cans and stuff, but uh, you can change two different uh, results. And this is the D-Scan filter. And then the D-Scan filter is, it grabs from open overview settings. If you grab this overview settings and then overview tabs. And if you make another tab or create another tab here and make one in make it so it shows specific things. Uh, you can set up an overview preset. Um, I forget exactly how to do it. I'll, I'll probably have to make another guide on how to do this whole menu, but it, overview presets can be imported into the, uh, the D-Scan menu, uh, which is really useful. Uh, so it, like I said, you can either put it to uh, your active overview filter, so it's really easy to change, or you can do specifically uh, general drones, all um, loot, mining. Uh, I, I guess these are the default ones. And then you can do all of your uh, overview profiles that you have uh, can be loaded up into your D-Scan filter, uh, which is really helpful. 
So then if we wanted to know specifically where something was, uh, we would have to kind of like use logic to figure it out. But if we hold the V key, we hold it down and then we click on something, we'll descan in that direction as well as it will point our camera in that direction. Uh, so our camera kind of follows it. So descan does follow your camera. So if you're swinging around like this, uh, this is actually where I'm looking in the solar system on the solar system map. So it does get confusing because we have three different 3D renders, which are in different kinds of space or not different, but they're the same space. So they're both the same 3D render, except this one's really far out. And this one's like right where we're at. Uh, so you can see, I can kind of look around. It's like pointing a telescope around. Um, and then the 180 degree is literally a cone in half. So you can say, is it on that direction or is it in that direction? So you can quickly figure out what direction something is coming from. Uh, and then if you're more specifically, you're trying to get something, you can go down to five degrees and you can scan down specific things. So like I know, for example, there is nothing in that direction on this uh, D scan. We can scan our bookmarks. Uh, wormholes don't show up unless there's a ship on them or things don't really show up unless there's stuff on them. You might have to increase your angle. Sometimes there's something at the star. It looks like there's a capsule hanging out there right now. Uh, we can descan the gate and the belt, and we can also reach out all the gates and we can see what is there. Uh, it looks like right now there's a bunch of catalysts out, uh, which means that the suicide gankers are out. And we can see, oh look, there's 20 catalysts undocked. Uh, we might even be able to reduce where they're at. Uh, it looks like that is the Barquette gate. So I'm going to guess that they're on the moon, but we'll go ahead and warp off to like you see moon. What gate is this? This is Barkek and Nakagard gate. So we're going to go ahead and warp within a hundred kilometers because I don't want them to kill me, but they're going to be in a bunch of catalysts. And we fi figured out that the catalysts were there because we just descanned them down uh, and they should show up on our overview, but they're all in space. They're, they're getting ready to go for a target. I'm 100% sure. As you can tell, I got a lot of pings and bookmarks. Uh, they're not here on the overview, but we can reduce this to 1 AU and 360, and we still see, hey, look, there's catalysts around. They're not on our overview. We know they're around here somewhere. So what we can do is we can hit F9, and we can double-click where we are, which is right here, and then we can reduce this to 5 degrees, and we can say, hey, are they on this moon? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, we could say, hey, are they over here? The answer is no. Uh, and probably they're on this. Nope. Maybe down there. Where are they at? I can't zoom in anymore. Um, they might be in a safe, actually. Let's go ahead and make this 360. So I found them all. They're in this direction somewhere. And you can see things that are highlighted in uh, green here are what I'm currently scanning. So we know they're here. If you didn't have them on um, on Dscan, you wouldn't know that they were out, right? So if if you're just sitting here passing through systems and you're like, oh, it's safe right now, then you wouldn't know that the catalysts were out. We know they're out, but we can't see them on, on our overview because they're not actually on grid with us. They're off grid or in a safe. And I don't think that they're over there on that astray house. Normally they tether up on structures. That's what I'm finding uh that's why i'm kind of weirded out they're not on a structure nearby uh because that's normally what they do uh, but it looks like they may be in a safe in the system or the structure might be in another place but we have them within one au and they're here and they're probably here getting ready to gank something coming through either the nakagard or, or um Barquette gate so if we hung out here for a while we'd probably see a marauder come through and then make a suicide attempt uh, but we know they're here and since we know they're here if we were mission running and we undocked in our uh, Marauder and we saw, hey, you know what? There's 15 catalysts on the gate. Maybe we'd leave it in the station on the other side of the gate and come turn in our mission or come through another way since we know that catalysts are on this gate. So it's unsafe to bring a Marauder through. So just paying attention uh, is really what these uh, or what D scan allows you to do. And this is a perfect example. I, I love that this happened while I was making the video. Um, that there's a bunch of catalysts in a safe somewhere around um, somewhere around this gate and we were able to uh, reduce and deduce that they were here. They're within one AU um, and if, if we wanted to scan them down 
Uh, we could use this to help us. So I can say, are they in this direction? Actually, that's probably a little bit broad or a little bit too narrow. So we'll go 90 degrees. So we can kind of just start searching around and looking for the catalyst. So there's a bunch right there. Are they up? Uh, it doesn't look like they're up. Actually, they might be up. So they're somewhere around here. We would reduce again. Make sure that we still have them. So they're somewhere in this little cone. This is enough for me to combat scan them down. Uh, and it looks like there's in a stray house uh, also there as well. So we can see that they're somewhere in this D-scan. And we know they're there. Uh, but with further tools, we can do it. But the knowledge that this exists in system and is undocked and ready to go is insanely valuable. And just knowing this is a huge deal. Um, and that's part of the reason why D-scan was so important. Um, and then also if you just had, uh, for example, uh, pretty much anywhere in Lingisi, here's a mission spot. Actually, this character didn't get it, so I don't have it on this character, unfortunately. I had a deep uh, space warp, but you would be able to see these catalysts if you're running a mission as well. Uh, or just, there's a thousand different ways you'd see the catalyst. Anyways, we found the catalyst. We know where they're at. Uh, and that's kind of a cool thing. Uh, and without D-Scan, we, we wouldn't know because... Local is normally around 61. Just watching local isn't enough. Um, watching that D-scan is incredibly important uh, for situational awareness and knowing what's going on. Uh, I don't have combat probes uh, to scan this down or uh, probes to scan down the uh, Astray House. But it is kind of nifty that we know that they're here and we know that this is where they like to hang out. We can go ahead and head out to our InstaDoc. We could know that it's possibly in the system because there's combat probes out as well. And this is another indicator that there's something going on that somebody's about to die and if you were running a mission right now in this system and you knew that these were these combat probes were out you would kind of wake up and align your station and you'd be ready to to leave your your mission should something line up on you you see combat probes at 10 you reduce to five you don't see combat probes anymore they're probably not scanning you down you can sit there and continue running the mission you see the combat probes again it's time to leave like 100%. Um, that's how we can use it defensively. And I kind of showed you the offensive side. So say we're hunting something in a uh, in a belt. Uh, maybe I can give you guys a good example here. And I'll show you guys how this works. So we're going to come into range of this. And hopefully, once we get into range, we'll be able to see that there's some people mining. We got some ventures here. And we got two orcas. Say we want to locate one of these orcas, right? So these are all available on D-Scan. So we wanted to locate these orcas. They're obviously not on our overview, uh, but we found them on D-Scan. We can reduce this angle, and we can also reduce the range to match uh, the fact that we're only trying to scan down one thing, but it's not that important. Uh, but reducing the range guarantees that you don't accidentally like ping something all the way out here. Uh, but there's orcas around here. And in order to make this go a lot faster, we're actually gonna do a, um, we're gonna do a three, uh, 180 scan. And I'm going to try and figure out which direction we're looking at. Okay, I'm looking straight up. And that scan is way too big uh, for my current use. So we'll go ahead and reduce that again. Can I do 0.1? No, I can't. So obviously, one of the orcas is still on scan. But what I want is I want to make it so it scans half, right? So we're going to scan that half. And we didn't get anything on that half. And then we're going to turn it around. I scan that half, and we see that there's two orcas here. And then the ones that are highlighted green are what we just scanned. Everything that's white is what we didn't scan. And so what we can do is we can reduce this, again, to 90 degrees. And we're not scanning as many. So we know about there's what we can scan. We found one of the orcas, and there's one, two, three, four possibilities where it is. And then we can go ahead and reduce this all the way down to five at this point, because we only have four. So it's going to be here. It's going to be here. And I'm holding V, and I'm just clicking. So we found the orca. It's on this belt. And we can warp, warp within zero. And then we just located that orca. And we didn't have to warp 20 times to find him. Uh, this is also how you find uh, certain event things. It's also how to find players. Uh, if you're trying to decide if there's something on a gate. See, we just landed on the orca. He might be spooked um, that we landed here. But we found him. And it actually didn't take us long. So we quickly found an orca. Uh, we'll go ahead and wave 07 in local and say hi. Um, 
yeah so if 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 we want to see if there's something on on this this heck gate uh, we will make sure that the scans in range is 32 kilometers away we can't see past 14 um but yeah anyways that's kind of how you use d scan to locate things and then again defensively i think i already explained fairly well if you spam it you can watch for combat probes and uh go from there and that's honestly uh how i keep and not worry so much about running uh the ships that i fly when i fly them because i am generally aware of what is going on in my area uh and i keep an eye out for the catalyst and i keep an eye out for things that i have marked as the threat and potentially threatening to myself i hope you really enjoyed the video that uh we made here uh, about d scan i got a couple little post production tips and tricks uh for those of you guys that are still here uh and it's really just one big one practice it hit that v key start using your d scan if it's not v check in your settings for the d scan hotkey um just start using it and practicing with it and the more you use it the more familiar you get with it it's a really useful super simple tool that is akin to like i don't know there's so many simple things in the world that it's like if you just use them and you practice using them a little bit it'll make your life a lot better nika would certainly think you're awesome for using d scan right nika Right, Nika? Is D-Scan awesome? I didn't plan this. I, I, I made this and the cat decided to come. So say hi to Nika. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, fly fun.